Hi, Assalamualaikum and hello to all students. Alright, we continue with our lesson in this topic, trigonometric ratios. And this one is the last part of this topic. Okay. Alright, your learning standard is to perform calculation involving sine, cosine and tangent. Alright, in previous lesson, you have learned on how to find sine, cosine and tangent without using calculator for angles of 30 degrees, 45 degrees and 60 degrees. And okay, other than that angle, you have to use the scientific calculator. Okay, so let's look at example 13. Use scientific calculator to determine the following values correct to four decimal places. Normally, when question asks you to find values sine, cosine, and tangent, you have to give your answer correct to four decimal places. Okay, so just use calculator. Okay, find sine 45 degrees 6 minutes and cos 20.7 degrees and tangent 60 degrees 12 minutes so when you use calculator scientific calculator this this one is the answer do you know how to use calculator to find this value all right okay i will show you how to use your calculator okay you have fx 570 okay okay this one is your calculator okay 570 okay so to find sine 45 degrees 6 minutes, okay, how? You just press sine 45 degrees, okay, this one for button for degrees, okay, 6 minute, 6 minute, press again that symbol, okay, when your calculator display this one, means that this one is sine 45 degrees 6 minutes. Okay, the second one is for minutes. Alright, then just press equal. Then you will get this answer. Okay, the calculator will give this answer. Then you from off correct to 4 decimal places. 1, 2, 3, 4. So you run off digit 3. So the answer is 0 0.7083. Alright, next is cos 20.7 degrees. Cos, you press button cos and then 20.7 degrees. So okay, you just press cos 20.7. Okay, then equal. Then uh, the calculator will display the answer. 0 0.93544 then you run off correct to four decimal places the other one is tangent tangent you press button tangent 64 degree you press button degree 12 minutes okay all right so then equal okay then the, cal the calculator will display the answer 2.068599 and so on. Round off digit 5 because you want 4 decimal places. Okay, so, so your exercise, try to bind test 5.1G in page 121 in your textbook. Okay, we continue. Okay, how do you calculate the size of angle by using trigonometric ratio, sine, cosine and tangent? Just now, I show you how to find value of trigonometric ratio when it gives you the size of angle. But now, you have to find the size of angle. Okay, you can find this one by using scientific calculator. Okay, use scientific calculator to calculate x values. Okay, given sines x equals to 0 0.8377. Now, it gives you the value of trigonometric ratios. And we do not know the value of angle. So, now you have to determine, you have to calculate the value of the angle. 
So how to use the scientific calculator to find this this angle? All right, now you have sine x equals to zero point eight three seven seven. Okay, you want to know the value of angle. Therefore, this sign you bring to the right hand side will be inverse sign. Okay, this one is inverse sign. Inverse signs of 0 0.8377. Use your calculator. Okay, if sign you just press sign. Now you want to know the inverse sign. So you press shift sign. Okay, the calculator will display inverse sign. Okay, inverse signs. 0 0.8377 then press equal okay then the calculator will give the answer 56.8980 and so on if you want the answer in degrees okay you just round off correct to one decimal places or two decimal places okay or if you want the answer in degree and minutes you press the button degrees minutes and seconds this one okay so this calculator will give you the answer in degrees minutes and seconds so this one 56 degrees 53 minutes 52.93 seconds and you just give your answer degrees and minutes so this one you look at this figure Okay, the seconds is more than 30. If more than 30, you round off the minutes. You plus 1. Okay, that's why this answer is 56 degrees 54 minutes. Okay, now look at the cos x. Cos x equals to 0 0.7021. You want to find value of x. So, x is equals to inverse cos 0 0.721. Okay, then press your calculator shift cos. Okay, shift cos. So this one is inverse cos 0 0.7021. Then press equal. Okay, so the answer is 45.404 degrees. Okay, you can you can uh, give your answer in degree and minute, just press this button okay so you get 45 degrees 24 minutes this one no need to plus one because this second is less than 30 okay so just give your answer 45 degrees 24 minutes all right next is tangent tangent x tangent x equals to 2.4876 you want to find the angle x equals to inverse tangent 2.4876 so shift tangent 2.4876 press equal okay so the answer is 68.1 degrees or okay in degrees and minutes 68 degrees 6 minutes Okay, so try to do mind test 5.1H in page 122 in your textbook. Alright. Alright, we continue with the problem solving involving trigonometric ratios. You have learned in this topic, you have learned how to find the trigonometric ratios. So now we look at how to solve the problems involved the trigonometric ratios. By referring to example 15, the diagram on the right shows a ladder leaning against a wall. It forms a right angle triangle PQR. So this one the wall and this ladder is leaning against this wall and it's form a right angle triangle. Okay because this one is vertical and the floor is horizontal. When vertical meets horizontal it will form a right angle here. Okay. If the height of QR is 2.5 meter. The height of QR is 2.5 meter. Okay. 
Calculate the length of ladder PR in meters. State your answer correct to two decimal places. So how to solve this one? Okay, first you take out the right angle triangle. Alright, you have this right angle triangle PQR and given this one is 50 degrees. Okay, then in the question give you the length of QR is 2.5. 5 meter. Okay, so how to find PR? By using trigonometric ratios, you can find any side if you have angle, one of the angle, and you know the at least one side. Okay, you know the measurement of one side, then you can find the other side. Okay, so this one you have this one is the, if you refer to this angle, angle P, 50 degrees, QR is the opposite side. And you want to know the length of PR. You want to know the length of PR. This one is hypotenuse. Okay, this one is hypotenuse. So, opposite over hypotenuse. So, you have to use ratio sign okay so sine 50 sine 50 degrees equals to rq over pr and you know the value of rq you know the value of rq is 2.5 meter then how to find pr you just solve this equation okay cross multiply Okay, cross multiply. PR equals to 2.5 over sine 50 degrees. Then use your calculator to find this value. You will get PR equals to 3.26 meter. If you round off correct to 2 decimal places. Okay, we continue with other example. In example 16, the diagram on the right shows a cuboid A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. It is given that B, C, 8 cm. Okay, this one B, C, 8 cm. C, H, 5 cm. This one, this side is 5 cm. And the height of H, E, 4 cm. Height of H, E is 4 cm. Okay, if the right angle triangle FCG is formed in the cuboid, calculate the value of angle FCG. Okay, now you want to know angle FCG. Okay, what is the size of this angle? So, how to solve this one? Okay, so how to solve this one? You have to think. Which trigonometric ratio you want to use? Okay, you know this height. Okay, this height FG. What is the length of FG? 4 cm. So this one is 4 cm. And then, do you know length of FC? You do not know this length. FC do not know the length. And do you know the length of GC? Also, you do not know. But can you find the length of GC? Can you find the length of GC? Okay. You can find the length of GC by using trigonometric ratio. What ratio is it? You have FG. Okay, you have FG. And you want to know this angle. Okay, this angle... Then, this one FG is opposite, GC is adjacent. Therefore, you have to use tangent. Tangent angle FCG equals to FG over GC. Okay, because tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay, but now you do not know the length of GC. You have to find this length first. So how? Right? This one. 
you want to know the length of GC. Okay. So, how to find this GC? Look at this one. Actually, you have this right angle triangle. Okay. So, you have triangle B, C, G. Okay. This one, B, C, G. How do you know this one, G, B, 5 cm? Because given H, C, 5 cm. Therefore, this one is 5 cm. Okay. This one is 5 cm. Okay. 5. Then this one, 8. Then you can find G, C by using... Pythagoras theorem. Okay, you have to relate this topic with the Pythagoras theorem topic that you have learned in Form 1. Okay, GC equals to square root of 5 square plus 8 square, then you get square root of 89. Just leave your answer like this. Okay, don't find the value first. Okay, alright, then Substitute value of GC in this ratio. Tangent angle FCG equals to FG over GC. Okay, then you have the value FG is 4. GC is square root 89. Right, now you want to know the angle. You want to know this angle. Therefore, you bring tangent to the right hand side. It will be inverse tangent. Okay. Angle FCG equals to inverse tangent 4 over square root 89. Then use calculator to find this value. But remember, if you use calculator, make sure when you, after you press inverse tangent, this figure you must put in the bracket. Right, then you will get the value angle FCG equals to 22.98 degrees. Okay, so there are two examples on problem solving involve sine, cosine and tangent that I have shown you. So next is you have to do exercise to ensure you know how to solve the other problems. Okay, so... Please do mind test in page 123 in your textbook. Alright? Okay, so that's all for this topic. Okay? That's all for this topic that you have learned in trigonometric ratios, chapter 5. Okay, that which are... First, in at the beginning of this topic, you learn about this right angle triangle. You learn how to identify the adjacent side, opposite side, and hypotenuse. Then, you learn about the ratio of sine, ratio of cosine, and ratio of tangent. And remember the formula? So, ka, tua. Alright. Then, in this topic also, you learn about when the size of acute angle increase, value of tangent theta and sine theta increase. That one we have covered in brainstorming 1. Okay, we have covered this one in brainstorming 1. And you also learned about how to determine the angle from value of sine, cosine and tangent by using calculator. And I have shown you how to find the value of sine, cosine, tangent for the spatial angle which are 30 degrees, 45 degrees and 60 degrees. Alright, for your additional information, the value of trigonometric ratio for 0 degrees and 90 degrees, you can refer to this table. Sine theta, if sine 0 equals to 0. Sine 90 equals to 1. Okay. And cos 0 is 1. Cos 90 degree is 0. Tangent 0 degrees is 0. And tangent 90 degree is this one symbol for undefined or infinity. Okay. So that's all for this chapter. Alright.